Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this showcase video. Have an absolute treat for you today. We've got a Stormlord's Primera Space Marine Force. It's the half of Dark Imperium. Do hope you're going to like these. Uh, if you're new to Siege Studios' YouTube channel, then firstly, welcome. Siege Studios is a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service with 30 painters who all paint from our bronze premium gaming level all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality. Now, if you're interested in a commission with us, very simply, what you need to do is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote. Click on that link. It takes you directly to the Siege Studios website and our contact form. Once you're there, on the contact form, select the relevant drop-down options from those that are available, and in the message section, include a list of models in your model list format. Once you've completed that, fire that off to us to get the process started and get a quote back from us. We're back in a second to have a look at these awesome Storm Lords in more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So first up, guys, from this brilliant Storm Lords commission, which we've had the pleasure of working on, uh, we have the four characters from the Force, and they are the four that come with Dark Imperium, two lieutenants, and then obviously you've got the Ancient and the Captain in Gravis armor. The whole project's been worked on by Dave, one of the artists here at Siege, and I had a great time working on this very unique color scheme. So let's dive in, have a look at these brilliant characters. To start off with, let's have a look at the, uh, the lieutenants. We'll start with the one that's got the, uh, the bolt rifle, first of all. Again, a really, really awesome, awesome uh, lieutenant model. All the eyes and everything there fully painted, as you'll see. The little buttons and things done on the gun as well, painted and picked out just so they are visible. Adds that extra level of, uh, sort of narrative and detail to the model. Again, he's just bounding forward there as well, as you can see. The uh, stripe markings on the helmet that he's got on his waist as well, just to denote him, obviously, as a lieutenant. And then we've got uh, the little screen there on the wrist with little blips and dots and things like that, and all the buttons and everything fully painted painted as well. Really, really super, super clean finish that you'll see across this force as well, which is really lovely. All the purity seals have the text and everything put on them as well, which is just a lovely little touch and adds that extra narrative to the models as well. But you'll see here, really, really cool lieutenant model. Uh, and that's the first one. The next model is probably my favourite lieutenant model from uh, the Primaris range. Uh, really love the stoic pose, shooting away there and about to swing with a sword. See the little details like the lightning effect there on the sword as well, just around the power node on the power weapon uh, as well. But again, the lovely quartered, uh, sorry, half scheme that this, these uh, Storm Lords have got. And you've got the lieutenant markings there just on the helmet. But you can see all the little details are fully, fully painted. Uh, the little uh, sort of uh, point of light source and blends in the lenses of his helmet as well. All the text on the purity seal as you see there as well. Uh, little bits of chipping and spattering around the bottom of the feet on this guy as well. Uh, and then moving around just around the back, you'll see obviously all the extra little details all fully painted on him as well. The pouches and straps all edge highlighted and done. Same as the armor in a very, very crisp fashion as well. So that's just uh, the Lieutenant from this set. Uh, we'll then jump and have a look at the Ancient. Uh, again, a really, really lovely, lovely model. Uh, again, with its uh, very stoic pose, uh, all the little lights and things on the wrists, all painted and the lenses and buttons and dials, same on the gun. We've got that lovely banner there with the uh, Storm Lords written on it as well. All the text and lettering all sort of freehand on there as well, plus on the purity seals and also the little squares and bits and bobs that are on there as well. Moving around the back, you've got a lovely amount of shading done to the uh, to the banner just to add that extra detail on there and show the folds in the cloth, which is really nice. Uh, and then obviously we've got all the uh, bits of armor panel all fully painted and edge highlighted there. And we've got the uh, plastic armor in between the joints with a lovely sort of gray to white kind of like highlighting done on those as well. The little lenses on the bolters are all painted as well, uh, just to give that narrative. I do really like the use of colour on the banner, the white uh, and red to complement the armour scheme and the free-handed chapter logo that's been done on the banner as well by Dave in a really, really sharp finish as well. A little eagle there as well, which I really like. Uh, so that's just the Ancient from the Force. And then last up, let's have a look at the man himself. Let's have a look at the uh, Gravis Captain from this Force. Very, very stoic pose, as you'd expect from any for any Space Marine Captain. Uh, again, his sword isn't turned on, hasn't got lightning on that one, but you've got a lovely cream sort of lining to this red cloak as well. Uh, all the little details are fully painted and highlighted through various stages, all the text on the purity seals on him as well, all done, as you'll see. Super, super, super clean finish. And then moving around the back, we've got this really, really gorgeous robe here with the deep, deep, subtle recesses shaded appropriately as well with the little uh, gold parts all picked out on him as well. Uh, speaking of the gold, uh, the gold's got various highlighting stages on it as well to give it a very warm feel. 
finish, which I do really like. Uh, you've got obviously the pommel and also the hilt of the sword, plus obviously the iron halo uh, and the, uh, the sort of winged areas of the model as well, all picked out in that lovely warm gold. The other purity, this cheeky little purity seal there as well with all the writing done on it. If just get that to focus so you can see it. Uh, so you can see those purity seals there all with text done on them as well uh, to make it actually look like writing as well, which is really nice. Uh, so that's just the Gravis Captain from the Force, guys. Do hope that you like the characters from the army. Uh, next up, we're going to have a look at all the vast amounts of infantry from this force. So I do hope you can stick around and check those out. Uh, see you guys in the next section. So last up, let's have a look at all the infantry from this Stormlord's Primaris force. Again, Dave had a great time working all the characters, which you saw in the previous section, but we have loads of cool infantry to look at now. Um, Hellblaster squad with five members, 10 intercessors, and uh, three inceptors, obviously from the Dark Imperium set. Uh, let's pull forward some of these awesome, awesome Hellblasters so you can have a look at these guys. Again, really, really cool color scheme. You can see that lovely uh, half uh, scheme that the Storm Lords do have, so half red, half white. Again, lovely, lovely finish on the, on these uh, on these models as well, and lovely subtle highlighting on the white as well. Uh, the white is done in a bit of a, of a muted white so that the edges can all be picked out as well, which is really lovely. Uh, you've got that lovely yellow helmet on all of them, so they've obviously got all the lenses and everything painted there with the point of light source at the back of the lens and also all the blends done in the lenses. Uh, lovely heat glow, uh, so I'll say heat glow, but plasma glow there on the, uh, on the plasma incinerator as well, and all the little dials and buttons and all picked out a complimentary green to the red as well which is really really nice uh, so again really clean finished model uh, nice example a standard here for you guys to see uh, and the good thing is you can mix and match these models throughout if you had another hellblaster squad you'd be able to mix them all together uh, really really cool as well so that's just uh, one of the hellblasters pull forward one with a bare head as well so you can have a look at him uh, all the eyes and everything fully painted there as well all text on the purity seals as you expect with us here at siege uh, and then moving around all the pouches and everything done in a lovely black as well just to make those stand out on the on the red and also white as well. Uh, so that's just the bare head of the plasma or you know, the incinerator or hellblaster squad. So pull forward a few more of these guys just so you can see them. Really, really clean finish as you expect. Uh, all the extra little details painted with the little dials and buttons on the uh, on the wrists of the marines all painted in a nice little green complimentary gem lighting effect as well. So that's just him. Even the little ones on the legs as well all painted there just so you can see that. Uh, again, uh, so I'll pull forward just a few of these just so you can have a look. Might as well pull forward the whole squad because there's only five of them just so you can see those but again the same consistency from model to model uh, really lovely lovely super clean finish uh, and the last one from the hell blaster squad just so you can see him again that lovely really bright uh, uh, sort of yellow helmet that he's got just stands out as well which is really cool so let's move on to the intercessors let's start with a couple of these intercessors so you can have a look at them again really like this uh, sort, of, sort of striding forward pose here looks like he's got his next target in sight as well uh, all the purity seals there as you'll see with text on them as well in a really really sharp finish as well uh, again the little lights and gems and all those bits and bobs all painted just to give a really really super clean finish as you'd expect with us here at Siege even the little lenses on top of the bolters as well all painted as you'd expect with us uh, pull forward a few more so you can have a look at these again really a bit stoic here not moving too much uh, just really really cool cool overall finish on these as well that lovely lovely cool, uh, half scheme as you can see there as well uh, pull forward the sergeant from that squad just so you can see him Again, extra little details like the little skull on the helmet all painted, uh, extra little purity seals on him because he's a sergeant painted as well. Again, the little lights and the screens and all those bits and bobs painted as well with all the little details. Uh, so that's just the sergeant. One of my favorite poses from the Dark Imperium box is the shooting uh, Primaris Marine. It's just him. Really lovely, lovely, cool model. Uh, and again, that, that, that half scheme just really makes every side. From there, obviously, it looks like a bit of a blood angel with an assault unit, uh, assault helmet, and then uh, maybe a bit of a white scar with the yellow helmet there. But really, really cool uh, overall scheme as well. So that's just uh, that's just him. And then the next one as well, just so you can see the next one. Again, looking to take a shot maybe. Again, purity seals all painted as well there. Uh, again, really, really cool. Next squad. I'll move through these a bit quicker for you guys because obviously they're all just uh, basic intercessors, but again, the same finish, just to show you them all so you can see every model. Again, that my favourite pose again. It's the only thing with the Dark Imperium boxes, you get a few of the same poses, but, uh, but still really, really cool models. Uh, great, great plastic kits as well. And then uh, let's have a look at the sergeant from that unit as well. Again, all the eyes and everything all fully painted there, as you'll see, the mouth, the tongue and everything all done. Uh, the helmet there on his hip. Uh, and the purity seals are all done, just bellowing away to shoot that guy. <laughs> so yeah, that's just him. Uh, and then the last two, just pull them forward very quickly for you guys, just so you can see again that shooting pose as he's advancing, which I think is really, really cool. So that's just him. 
And uh, the last one from the squad, moving around, you can see all the undersides and everything all fully painted, every aspect of detail fully done. Nothing is missed uh, on all these models. Uh, so that's just uh, that's just that other Interceptor squad. Then we'll move and have a look at the Inceptors. Again, really, really dynamically posed models. He's just landing here. Dave's done a nice job of not using the flying stands. Um, they're, you know, if you've experienced them, they're, uh, they're a little bit tricky sometimes. Uh, so we've put them on uh, bits of rubble and things like that just to make them a bit easier to transport for our client as well. But that lovely half scheme, perfectly down the middle there with super straight lining, uh, all the shields and everything all highlighted as well on the guns, all the lenses on the end of the guns painted as well. Every little light and dial and button on them painted as well. Really, really super clean finish on here as well. All the magazine and the magazine with the ammo, you can see all that painted as well. Little dials and buttons on the side of the guns and the wrists are all done as well. And purity seals again, all with, with uh, the scripture and stuff on them as well. So that's just him. And have a look at this other one landing on a crate that's stuck in the ground as well, which is quite cool. Nice use of that just to make him look like he's uh, landing or bouncing off of it or something, which is really nice. So that's just this other chap here. And then the sergeant from the unit, uh, let's have a look at him. Again, just denoted with that little skull on the helmet as well, on the little pillar thing here. I think this is from the Vindicare Assassin kit, uh, if memory serves correct, but just that there, just mount into the ground so you can land as well, which is really nice. Again, all those extra little details painted, all the edge highlighting done in a super crisp fashion as well to pick out all those armour panels on, the, on these very chunky and armoured models as well. All the little lenses on the guns done, as you'll see from every single model. And that is all the infantry from the Force, guys. Do hope that you like them. Uh, we're back to have a look at the Force in all its glory again very, very shortly, so do bear with us when we pop back and uh, I hope you liked the infantry from this force. See you guys back in a sec. So thanks for checking the video out guys. I do hope that you've liked these Storm Lords Space Marines. Uh, really, really awesome colour scheme that I know Dave had a great time working on. Now, if you're interested in a commission with us, be it for a character, small force or vast army, all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote. Click on that link. It takes you directly to our website and our contact form. And once you're there, select the relevant drop down options from those available for your project and requirements. And in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format. Fire that off to us to get a quote back from us. Um, while you're here on YouTube, do us a huge favour, subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date with everything that goes on here at Siege Video Wise. If you do hit that bell icon, you will be notified when new videos do go up on the channel. Uh, finally, in the description of the video also, you can see the uh, links to our social media, so Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. If you go give us a like and follow respectively on those, you can see all the other things that we get up to as a business. Thank you ever so much for watching the video. I will see you very soon on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.